In this particular program, I am going to show you how the factorial of a number can be calculated. We are going to solve this factorial problem using the while loop. In order to calculate the factorial of a number, I require one variable called as number where the user is going to enter the number whose factorial is going to be calculated. Then I have another variable called as fact where the result of the factorial is going to be stored. You will soon know why I have given it the initial value 1. So first thing I am going to do is ask the user to enter a number. Let's say the user enters a number. Now what I am going to do here is I am going to put the condition while number is greater than 0 all right I am going to multiply fact with that number okay so we'll trace this with a simple logic and then you'll understand why we are doing it then I need to decrement number by 1 so that I can proceed to multiply factorial with the next value of the number this process will continue as long as the value of number is greater than 0 and in the last step I am going to print the value of the factorial using percentage ELD because fact is a long kind of a data type. Let's try to run this program figure out what the output is and then we'll go ahead with the explanation all right let's say I enter the number 3 so it should be 3 into 2 should be 6 okay factorial is 6 instead of 0 let me change this to 1 because there's no point of multiplying any number by 1 now why this fact is given the value 1 is suppose the input number is 0 it will not go into the loop because 0 is not greater than 1 it will straight away come here and will print the factorial of 0 as 1 same if I enter the input number as 1 1 is greater than 1 is false it will come here and it will print factorial of 1 also happens to be 1. That's why I have given the initial value of fact as 1. So this is a simple program using a while loop. How do you go ahead and calculate the factorial of a number? We can try running this with a slightly bigger number, but don't try with a very huge number like 30 and all because it's going to lead to probably a overflow even of the long factorial. So let's try to enter maybe even 12. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, it's calculated it successfully for 12, but a number like 18, 20, 25, it's going to probably lead to a overflow. You can try it when you're running it. So this is what 12 factorial happens to be 47900 So with this, I hope you have understood how to calculate the factorial of a given number using a while loop.